Hey coach, it's Bryce with Synergy. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to use the Synergy editor to create custom edits that you can share with your players. So first things first, you need to make sure your Synergy account is in good standing. You can you know, reset your password, contact support if you're having any problems logging in. Uh, make sure you know who your account administrator is. A lot of times it's a head coach or a video coordinator on a staff. Um, so if you don't know who that person is, definitely reach out to your Synergy rep or support and we get you squared away. So obviously you'll need the Synergy uh, baseball or softball application on your Mac or PC, which you can see right now on my screen, I've got already loaded up with a couple different tabs. We've got Paul Skeens and Dylan Cruz pulled up. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take these clips and put them in the Synergy editor. A lot of times coaches will just uh, click player up here in the video playback option they don't mind they just want to watch the video within the application here you do have the ability to pull that video into an editor editor is very popular amongst our basketball coaches and has been for years and we're looking to get more baseball and softball coaches using it because we think it could be really powerful for you as you work through this season okay so once you've got whatever filters and video you pulled up it could be a single game it can be from the reports tab i've got the multi-game view pulled up you just select the video that you want. I'll just take all 15 of these pitches. I'll click editor for my playback and then I'll click play. Now, what this will do is it'll automatically open my editor if it's not already open. Um, if it is open, it'll just pop it up for me. Here's the thing though, you need to make sure you have the editor installed. I've actually got a link in the description for you to be able to download the editor onto your machine. So once you've got it installed, you've got your clips ready to go, click play. Once you have editor selected for video playback, and I'm gonna hit play, and you'll see a little pop-up occurs, and now I'm in my editor. The clips will populate at the bottom of my screen. You can see they're turning from gray to black. That means it's caching or loading into my computer. Um, so I have access to those files temporarily. They don't have to worry, I don't have to worry about re-downloading them, okay? Um, so the first thing I like to do once I get my clips starting to load in is I wanna create a custom edit okay this is where you can sort of curate uh, the clips that matter to you that you either want to show to your players in a group setting um, which you know this is great for presenting like a scouting report or i want to put together something that i can share with my players that they can watch on the synergy mobile app so what i do is i have this custom edits tab selected up here i can see i don't have any edits right now i'd like to create a new edit i can click this plus sign up here it says new and then i'll go click on new custom edit and I'll put LSU out and hit okay. Now this edit has pulled up here and you can see right here, there's the title. This tab represents that edit and any clips that I send will populate over here. So a couple nice things about the editor is there's a lot of filters. So if I have a really big list of clips pulled up for me, I've only got 15, that's all I sent over, but you can use all these filters to your advantage if you have say a whole game pulled up um, and you want to jump to a specific count, you can click a filter. So I could click a filter and say, hey, I just want to see the three O's. Now I filtered to three O in the actual application. So this isn't necessarily relevant to me in this uh, scenario, but I could filter to where somebody's on first base and click apply. And I know these situations where it's three O first base are relevant to the scouting report that I want to put together. At this point, what I can do is I can click and drag that clip from my source area at the bottom of the screen into my custom edit. Now it's in my edit. Um, for whatever reason, this clip right here, clip nine, I watch it, you know, this isn't relevant. Let's just jump down to 13. I watch 13. Hey, this is one we want to get in here. I can click and drag and move that over. There's also additional hotkeys. Uh, for example, you can hit the right arrow and it'll pop that over. Uh, you see right here where it says F1. If I had multiple custom edits open at the same time, I could use whatever hotkey is in front of the name of the edit that I want to send a clip to. And so for the example here, I could click F1 and it would send whatever clip over that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the filter. Now I've got a few clips over in my custom edit, um, but I need some other video. I don't wanna just use this video. So I'll pop back into my uh, application. I know I wanted to get some Dylan Cruz footage in here. So I'll go to this one that I already have loaded up. Uh, same thing, I've got a 3-0 count for Cruz here. Um, and I just wanna get you know these three pitches right here. So I've got editor selected for my playback. I click play populates my editor for me. There it is. Just like that, those three clips that I selected will come into this tab down here, which is a new tab. And from here, I can see again, those clips are loading in. Um, and I watch this clip. 
you know, I've got these handy jump buttons. Um, you can see the hotkeys um, are listed for you if you want to get used to using hotkeys. You can always use the video player screen as well just by clicking if you like that. You do have playback options. Uh, you can jump to the next clip by hitting the next uh, button here or right arrow. Uh, you can scrub. So if you just want to do a little frame by frame action, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, so some pretty nifty things. You can actually pop the viewer out. So if you want to undock it and drag it over to a secondary monitor, you can do that. Uh, you can pin it on your screen. You can make it full screen, which is great if you're presenting you know, on a projector to your group um, or a TV. Um, I'm going to dock it back in. You also have the ability to trim clips. So if you think that it's just a little bit too long and you want to do some trimming, you can click this little trim in and out and these little uh, icons pop up and you can pop it over to wherever you want that clip to be. Uh, probably want it to be a little longer here. And now I've trimmed that. And the way you know is I've got this little red icon here. That means I've added a trim. Okay, so I'm going to click and drag, move that over there. And I've decided I want to use clip three as well. And now I have a five clip custom edit. So I can double click my edit up here. That will start playing this particular edit. They will run through depending on what playback mode I have engaged. I have it on single clip. So after this clip is concluded, it will just stop automatically. Within your settings over here, you can go ahead and go to playback and playlist and go clip to clip. And that will make it so that the next clip plays automatically. So if you're presenting in some sort of you know, group setting, it will just jump to the next clip for you. Okay. A couple other cool things that, you know, when you're just getting started with custom edits that I would recommend are getting used to adding title slides. So there's this little icon right here. It says add slide. You can click on it and hit add title slide. And what it looks like is just sort of this blank black slide where you can customize what it says. So if I want to, I can move it wherever I want in, in, in order here. So I can go right up here and put a title LSU scout. Um, if you want to get really fancy, you can actually insert images that you can create elsewhere, like on Canva, Photoshop, if you want to get really fancy and put some really cool um, you know, graphics in your title slides. You can do that using um, the add image option. Additionally, you have the ability to um, add some sort of text overlays. So for example, on this first clip here, um, a quick hack is to hit this column text overlay and you can choose something like the picture name and then hit apply and you see it popped up right here and you can click and drag that wherever you want. So if you don't want to worry about manually typing stuff in, you can use this column text overlay tab to use some of the synergy log data to um, you know add to that image. So there you go. We'll add that below. There it is. Boom. Paul Skeens 99. Great. So pretty cool feature. Now you can add custom text overlay if you want. The way to do that would be to uh, go ahead and uh, have your clip selected. Uh, there's a couple different options. There's this icon down here that says show text overlay menu. You can pop it open and then right here you could type in your manual stuff. So I'll just type in the word manual and you can see it's adding up here and I can move it wherever I want to move it. Uh, there's some other fancier options which we'll get into on a later video including timings, animations, colors, those types of things. So get familiar with all these different uh, text overlay options if you want to add those. If you're looking for something that's a little more quick and simple, use the column text overlay to use those synergy tags to add that, uh, that text overlay for you in your edit. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about title slides, text overlay, trimming. The other thing just to real quickly uh, mention is you can add multiple titles and you can also click and drag, move these clips around however you want to move them. Um, you can, you know, drag, if you really want to have notes first, you can click and drag it over and it'll move to the front instead of title. So, um, you certainly can, uh, click and, and write in certain things right now. The notes are populating as the game, but you could change that to something that's relevant to maybe what you're presenting, uh, to the team in that scenario as well. So some cool things you can kind of do from there. Okay. So that's kind of the nuts and bolts of some initial custom edit, uh, creation, uh, at that point. Maybe you want to get this out to your team. You want them to watch it. You've got them on the Synergy mobile application. They can actually see edits that you send them on their mobile app. So what you do is once you have your edit open, click down here on this tab, this little carrot, click on it, and you'll see a few options. We're going to hit share and we're going to hit share in editor. And now my team will populate here. And all I need to do is hit the plus sign for the people that I want to send that edit to. Then I click OK and it'll let me know that that edit was sent. And now those people, when they go to their editor, if they have it on their computer or the mobile app, they will now see it in their edits that were sent to them. And the nice part about the mobile app is as a coach, you can see not only who you sent it to, but how much of it they've watched. So great way to hold your players accountable. So 
I hope this has been a good starting point. Uh, we have a link down below for some additional documentation on our support page for not only installing the editor, but a couple other tips and tricks like talking about custom edits. So I hope this was helpful for you. Let us know if you have any questions. Make sure to contact our support information or support line or email if you need anything. We're here for you. We hope you have a great season. Thank you so much, coaches. Have a great day.